after a turbulent week that rocked but strengthened hit the side. Woolpit spoke candidly to us this afternoon about the shock, the support and his passion. After the week he's had, you'd forgive Paul Woolpert for losing faith in his sport. I will not lose my passion uh, whatsoever. As a professional basketball coaches and, and players, uh, we are paid to be passionate. Um, officials are paid not to be. Today he spoke openly about the support from Crocs fans. Been out to dinner or lunch and, and uh, people have come up and said, hey coach, great job. He's watched the incident back and knows things got out of hand. Yeah, of course, you know, you look at yourself and you say, you know, that, that's unfortunately I'm, I'm out there and kind of um, being a little, little emotional and obviously uh, upset. Still, the verdict floored him. Completely shocked. To have the largest fine in uh, NBL history uh, is absolutely astonishing to me. It's more than the money, though. Woolpert admitted he'd been ejected in the past. The NBL considered that in their punishment. I was honest um, uh, in all my responses and in, in everything I've done throughout uh, the process and, and my honesty has come back to bite me. I think the tribunal process has always been flawed. Um, I've said that publicly before and I'll continue to say it until such time as, as we review it and bring it into line. As for the man who ejected him... I shook his hand the next day and uh, you know I, I told him that I thought he was a good official and, and uh, uh, that uh, no hard feelings and I, I believe that uh, I still feel the same way and I hope he does as well. Veronica Eggleton, 7 News.